フェイ24度15分、東経122度15分、日本の火薬船、昭和丸遭難出火中を傍受せり。Come on, baby. What's he saying? Why don't you learn to speak Japanese for yourself, Mike Takashima? Wind velocity 85 miles per hour. Taxi! Well, it looks like a taxi. Maybe that's the reason they named Typhoons after Dames, baby. Come on, let's make a run for it. There's no change. Could be a little worse. Okay. Thanks very much. Yes, sir. Twenty-six degrees, twenty minutes north. A hundred and twenty-three degrees, twenty-seven minutes east. Roger. This is Ashia Air Base. Ashia Hikojo. Hi. Is Captain Jim Anderson registered there? Anderson son, Kurosai. Anderson son, Kurosai. Hi. Yeah? I do not know his room number. Chirimasen. Sumi? Never mind. Thank you very much. Domi Arigato. Good morning, gentlemen. I trust you slept well. Okay, gents, here it is. A Japanese freighter broke up in Typhoon Cathay, right about uh, here. If you have nothing better to do, they'd appreciate it if you flew down there and picked them up. Any trouble? Right here, Colonel. Captain Cooper and his crew are ready for takeoff. I'm trying to round up somebody to fly cover. What's the holdup? Captain Dietz is still in the hospital. What about Carson? Well, Carson and Holmquist are marooned up at the dam. The power line's out. I've been trying to run down Jim Anderson. No, that's no good. He's still on furlough. Well, there's nobody else, Colonel. I see. Well, I'm still qualified on the SA-16. I'll fly cover. Well, well that would certainly help, What's sir? the crew? Lieutenant Gregg is your co-pilot. Captain Sumter's navigator, Sergeant Garrison is flight engineer, and Airman Dennis on the radio. Paramedics are Takashima and Smith. Lieutenant Gregg, co-pilot. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks a lot. Yes, sir. Morning, sir. Morning. Morning, Colonel. Oh, well, Lieutenant. Well, seems we'll be flying together again. I'm flying cover. Yes, sir. It's been a long time. Yes, sir, it has. I'll start the pre-flight check, sir. Okay. How do you like that? Somebody had to fly the mission. Yeah, but why Stevenson? He works for the Inspector General now. He doesn't fly missions. Look, you got no sweat with Stevenson. You've been flying as well as you ever did. Yes, yeah, co-pilot. And never with Stevenson in the left seat. It had to happen sooner or later. You'll be okay. Yeah. Well, I better start that pre-flight check.
Is that you, Colonel? Yeah. Let's go. I'll pick you up after school, buddy boy. Don't get your feet wet, Captain. Good morning, Major. Good morning, Miss Carroll. Don't smoke when I sleep. Smart. Might stunt your growth. Take over. I'm going to get a cup of coffee. What's that boy doing, Colonel? He'll be okay. Just a little jumpy flying with me again, that's all. That'll wear off. Sure. I killed them. I killed them all. What are you doing in Germany, Colonel? Studying rotor wing operation. How do you like that? Colonel Glenn Stevenson, flying co-pilot for me. Let's see, escaped from prison camp, shot down 19 Japanese planes. Of course, you wouldn't know it, sir, but you were my pacer. You know, like milers pace each other to break their own record. Well, while I was still at Princeton, I picked you. I even kept a press book on you to keep myself on my toes. And after I enlisted, I kept telling myself, now there's a man you have to beat. So how did you do? Yeah, my luck. You won the war before I had a chance to fight. I guess that was a lucky break for me, huh? So, here I am, in the flying Boy Scouts holding vaccine for the Red Cross. Down there, sir, on our right. That's where the trouble is. Yeah, you can see the avalanches all along there. Telling me. Now you'll have a chance to see what these coffee grinders can really do. High tension cables all through here.
think I'd better set it down and see what we can do. Starting up again, if there's a wind, it's murder. How long do you think we'll be? I don't know. Just as long as it takes. Well, I guess I better save the fuel then. Here. We are 28 from a village of 100. Last night, we took refuge on the church top. Below, there's a woman. Her baby comes too soon from shock. Pick six or seven of the roughest cases. That's all we can take back. care of the others. I'll feed them later. This one can't wait. Okay. Okay, baby. Here we go. By the looks of it, this is the first time for both of us. What are you standing around for? They think we're going to take them all back. How can I tell them? Now, look. I told you to pick the most critical. Look. I can't pick who's going to live or die. I'm not God. No, you're not God. You're an aircraft commander responsible for this mission. Now, pick your people and get them aboard while you've still got an aircraft to command. Break the news to him. That's all we can carry. We'll try to get back. That's all. Tell him. Come on. Tell him. Uh, we, uh... I can't. I can't. Tell him we're taking off now. Our plane can only carry eight people. You have the supplies we've left. We'll make every effort to get back. Go ahead, tell them. When the wirklich is, when sie wiederkommen und sie helfen.
Well, don't just stand there looking at me. What the hell can we do? They'll all be dead by morning. Couldn't we take at least one more? We can't take one more. Let's go. We're overloaded as it is. All right, stand back, everybody. Stand back. trips to do it, sir. Look, Lieutenant, there's 20 people back there. You can carry eight. We've already evacuated the serious cases, so now there's no active need for medical supplies. We can carry 10 each trip. Buddy boy, you've been reading your Boy Scout manual. Take a look at this weather. It's closing in. You don't really think it's possible to get this chopper up there and back. Even if we only make it once, we save 10 lives. We lose all 20 if we don't try. Well, I just can't You all take... look like you could use a cup of coffee. Yeah, we could, Miss Carroll. Thanks. I think we'll need it because it looks like we're going back. Yes, sir. Hey, Lieutenant. Welcome to the Flying Boy Scouts. Well, I'll stuck up on Dextra and penicillin and a big load of bullion cubes. Mm, there's no room for you this trip. We're trying to lighten the load to carry more survivors. I only want a one-way ticket to set up a corner drugstore and lunch counter in case you get delayed on that second trip. Okay, Sergeant, go ahead. Takashima. I, uh... I want to apologize for what happened up there at the church. No sweat, Colonel. It was just something I couldn't... I guess these things run pretty deep. If that's all, sir, I'll get the supplies. Yeah, that's that's all, Sergeant. Gone. I can find it.
kill them all. Still in command of this chopper, Lieutenant. Take the controls. Listen to me. Take the controls. Take them! Come on, move! Take them! Now fly it. Take it easy, Charlie. Careful now. Watch it. Pretty lousy landing, son. Let's take it up and try it again. Yes, sir. Well, come on, let's go. You wanted action, you got it. You're gonna take this thing up, now. Oh, no, I can't. I gave you an order, Lieutenant. Take it up. Oh. Take it up! I can't, I can't! This is 296. Over. Colonel. Colonel. Two nine six. Go ahead, Stevens. Stand by, Colonel. I've got a target. Dead ahead. Red. Crew from pilot. Put on your May West. Binoculars, Dennis. I'll take it. Engineer from pilot. Prepare to drop a smoke bomb at 2,000 feet. Find out what kind of a sea we have here. From 060 degrees at 20 knots, with a quartering crosswind of 30 knots. All in all, a nice confused sea. Complex sea, wind wrong, an 8 to 10 foot swell. Our radio operator hasn't been able to contact any surface craft in the area near enough to pick them up. What does your boy report? I'll let you know. Radio from pilot. Any luck? Report negative, sir. I haven't been able to establish radio contact with any shipping in the area. Keep trying. Cooper, this is Stevenson. We still have negative radio contact. Colonel, I'm going to drop an ME-1 kit and attempt a landing. Right. Take it easy and good luck. We'll back you up.
steps up. into the sea at 1354 hours. Crew take positions for scanning and search for possible survivors. See anything, Greg? No, sir, I don't see anything. Sumter? Nothing, sir. Garrison. See anything? Nothing of Cooper's plane, sir. Nothing, sir. Dennis, have you been able to raise any surface craft? Negative, sir. No radio contact. Colonel Stevenson, Mike Takashima. Yes, what is it? Sergeant Smith and I request permission to jump, sir. Someone has to show them what that rescue kit is for. Have you figured the risk in jumping and landing in these conditions? Yes, sir. Only... Well, that's just two of us, but 12 of them. All right, it's up to you. What altitude do you want? We'll jump at the 1,000 feet time. 1,000. We'll do. sir. I'll tell you what I want to do when I'm ready. Captain Cooper just had a bad break, sir. I'll decide that, Sergeant. Colonel, this is something. May I say something? What is it? Well, if it concerns you, sir, I'm sure I speak for the entire crew. We'd be quite willing to attempt a landing. I take that for granted. It seems pretty lousy of Captain Cooper and the others. If somehow they got scratched for nothing. Look, son, you just simmer down and do your job. Ready, ready. Break out the radio. And get Stevenson on the horn. 
Okay. Two nine four over. Two nine four over. This is Stevenson. Go ahead. Hello. This is Mike Takashima. The situation here is critical. You'll have to do the best you can. These people need immediate hospitalization. Over. We're trying to make radio contact with shipping. We'll send help soon as we can. We can't wait for that kind of help. Takashima, you can't save them all. You can't save the whole world. No matter how many I save, I'll always be one short. Nothing has changed in our favor, Sergeant. We'll have no better chance than Cooper. That's it. These things run deep. Do you hear me, Colonel? You said that these things run deep. Now listen, Takashima. Listen good. I will not risk the lives of my crew just to prove I don't hate Japanese. Not to you or myself or anybody else. That's your decision. That's it. That's my decision. First, they probably thought there was no hope of being rescued. They just get used to the idea and we show up to give them back hope. It isn't fair. What do you mean, it isn't fair? We've just sacrificed seven lives for those Japanese down there. We don't owe those people anything. Christina Mindanao, May 27, 1941. Are you Mr. Glenn Stevenson? That's right. They tell me you're shuttling supplies to the earthquake area at Lake Lanao. I am. Will you take me down? Well, I don't think those people are in the mood for sightseers at the moment. I'm not a tourist. I'm a newspaper man. And I don't mean take me down for free. You're a newspaper man? Yes. Well, I didn't know reporters came looking like you. I also take pictures. You do, huh? Well, okay, but you better get out of those clothes and into slacks. That's rough country down there. Where do I unearth a pair of ladies' pants around here, Mr. Stevenson? You just wait a minute. Follow me. Tight squeeze, huh? Here, try these. <laughs> Where are you in from? New York. I'm Calvin Gordon. Oh. I knew I hadn't seen you around Manila. I got a lousy memory for names, but I never forget a leg. You peeped. No, I didn't. I looked. Grab a seat and fasten a safety belt.
I'll meet you back here in a week. I forgot to pay you. That's okay. You will. to you too. I've been looking to Helen gone for you. I've been right here on lovely Lake Lanao. Who's this? I just got adopted by an orphan child. Oh, fine, fine, fine. But hey, he's a cute one. Don't you know what could happen to you down here? Floods, earthquakes, epidemics. It's bad enough even when you're used to this climate. Why, Mr. Stevenson, you care. Yeah. the baby. I gave him to the Red Cross. He's in good hands. Thank you. Why didn't you send word you were all right? I, I've been thinking all kinds of things. <laughs> have you, Mr. Stevenson? Yes, I have. That was the idea when I changed into these in front of you. Huh? A cheap woman's trick. I see. You know, there were times when I was very happy to meet you, Mr. Stevenson. What times? When I tried to get some sleep, I could turn off those kids and turn you on. <laughs> You're very nice in my sleep, Mr. Stevens. No, no, now don't go to sleep again. We're gonna fly back to Manila now. Do you have a house in Manila? Mm -hmm. Are you married? No. Nope. Are you? No. I'm glad neither of us is married. So am I. Where's your house? Overlooking the bay. Do you have bougainvillea? <laughs> All over the place. <laughs> can I have a hot bath in your house when we get to Manila? <laughs> you sure can. Come on. How do you come to be in Manila, Mr. Stevenson? I fly airplanes for a living. I know that, but why here? I run the airline. One plane. Any more questions? I'm making small talk because I'm a little embarrassed. And I think you should know something about the man whose pajamas you're wearing. I think so, too. Anyway, I'm curious to know why a nice American male ends up as a flying beachcomber in the Philippines. No, I just like it here for the moment. I guess I'm a barnstormer. Unreliable type. Are you trying to warn me? Could be. I'll take that drink now. Where do you go from here? Hong Kong. Hong Kong, huh? Why don't you hang around for a while? My plane doesn't leave until noon tomorrow. No, 
No, I don't mean just for tonight. We're just beginning to know each other. You know something, Mr. Stevenson? What? You're a nice man. <laughs> well, you keep thinking that. I'm a little frightened. The spare bedroom has a key. Just bring my drink. Please don't think I'm trying to act coy. It's just that I'm frightened because I've never felt frightened before. said hang around for a while. I meant it, sure, but I didn't mean all summer. The trouble is, I like it. Inverters? Now, don't get me wrong. That's the trap off. She knows she's been around. Radios? It was for kicks, hit and run for both of us. A lot of laughs off. Shocks? But they're all alike. It's the law of nature. Get the hook in, get married, settle down, kids. In place. I gotta face it with this broad right now. Especially after last night. Parking break? You know how it is sometimes. You get a few drinks, uh, moonlight. You say anything. Off. All switches. Last night was a killer. Not that I didn't mean it. Off. Check complete. Check complete. But this one I got to face right now. Carolyn? Miss Gordon went out on flight 62. She was in a hurry. Flight 62's the milk run. She wouldn't get to Hong Kong till Friday. She wasn't in a hurry to get to Hong Kong. She was in a hurry to leave American Manila. Mm. Uh, can I use your phone? Uh, yes, sir. Give me the Stevenson hangar, please. Stevenson. That's right. You're sure it was flight 62? Yes, sir. Freckles, roll it out. We're flying to Hong Kong tonight. Thanks very much. You're welcome, sir.
took you so long. I can't marry you. I love you. You know, that's what I like about you. You make sense. You don't want a wife, Steve. You don't want roots and kids, all that routine. You're beautiful. I'd like to. I'd really like to. I just can't. Why? Why can't you? Okay, here goes. I'm going to have a baby. Stevenson? Yes. This is Mr. Stevenson. Did you bring the medicine? No, medicine. Here, Stevenson. Military prisoner until they 
found out I was just a reserve officer and didn't know any military secrets. You need a shave. <laughs> I know. This, this is Dr. Horton. How'd you do? He helped me a lot. She has a high fever. Some infection, probably pure pearl. supplies. Japanese women and children are asked to sacrifice, even rights if necessary. So then, understand that I could not in honor give any of this medicine to an enemy. That is all. Go to the beginning. of what it will do to you. I won't, darling. I'm scared. It's all right. It's, it's all right. Everything's gonna be all...
Garrison. Yes. Drop a smoke bomb. Yes, sir. Crew from pilot. Prepare for an open sea landing. Dennis, have you raised a Shia? No radio contact at all, sir. But I have a commercial pilot on the horn. All right, I'll talk to him. Man, I'm one here. Captain Lee here, bound for Hong Kong. Can I be of any assistance? Will you please contact Hong Kong? Ask them to notify a Shia rescue. One of our aircraft crashed at sea. We're searching for possible survivors. Roger, will do. And sir, lots of luck. A Shia rescue. This is a Shia radio. Hong Kong is calling you. This is rescue. Patch me through direct to Hong Kong. A Shia rescue. This is Hong Kong. This is Shia. Go ahead, Hong Kong. We are relaying a message from air rescue mission East China Sea. One of your aircraft crashed at sea. They're conducting a search for possible survivors. That is all. Over. Which one? Why didn't they say which one? Hong Kong, this is a Shia. Request your attempt to contact the rescue plane for identification of the lost aircraft. Over. A Shia, this is Hong Kong. We will do our best. Listening. Out. There's Greg's wife. Mrs. Cooper, Judy Victor. That's it, isn't it? No one else has anyone on either aircraft, have they? No, sir. No one else has anyone on either aircraft. I'm sorry, Lou. You feel so darn silly, eating your heart out about a guy who couldn't care less. <laughs> Jumpers. Jumpers. They all count jumps. He's jumped 128 times. It's like a game of chicken between him and his little jump gods. Every time I die, a petite mort. That's what the French call love. A little death. Here's the break! Charlie! Busted landing in North Africa. Je ne comprends rien, monsieur. Ah, no English. Well, there's no problem, maybe. It's okay. I guess everybody understands okay. That's it, baby. You just heard all of it. <laughs> Mr. 
Donnez-moi votre bras, monsieur. It's you again. That crazy ring. Merci beaucoup. You know, no matter what I want to say, it's got to come out merci beaucoup. De rien, monsieur. Well, how about a drink? You know, a drink. No, merci, monsieur. Why no? Ne reste pas avec lui. Va à la maison. What's all that about? Grandpère. So that's what you've been hiding behind that curtain. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, two beers, please. Uh, beers? That's impossible, sir. This young lady is up. Alcohol is not permitted. Oh, well, thanks, Pally. Make it two coffees. Two coffees, yes, sir. Where'd you get that crazy face? Poof? Yeah, that's me. Régiment Français? That's right, now you've got the whole picture. Broken down land lease paratrooper assigned to the militias with the French regiment. Oh, that face. Merci, Monsieur. Hey, you can't leave me now. Monsieur. Merci. Uh, can I be of service to you, sir? You could do me a favor. Do you speak French? Why, naturally. Would you tell the young lady that my name is Mike Takashima? And I would like to know her name. Uh, but, monsieur, I don't think... Well... Uh, monsieur voudrait savoir votre nom, mademoiselle. Il s'appelle Mike Takashima. De rien. Michel. Michel? I never thought of it that way. Je m'appelle Leila. 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 What can I do for you, sir? Oh, I would like some information. Would you ask her if she might know where there is a beach? Monsieur voudrait savoir si par hasard vous connaissez une plage. Comme c'est drôle. J'y vais justement, moi aussi, à la plage. Je l'emmènerai avec plaisir. The young lady says that it so happened she's on her way to the beach. She'll be happy to take you there. What are you? Uh, monsieur, can I interest you in a pair of... Uh, Hello, Michel. It wasn't just that face you were keeping under wraps. Je ne comprends pas. Don't try to understand. We're on the magic carpet. Just don't try to understand. Can you imagine such a thing happening to me? Mike Takashima, father Japanese, mother Polish. And somehow I come to North Africa and find you. I am not going to try to understand anything either.
Okay, I understand. Time to go. Now, where do we eat dinner? No, Michel. But you have to eat, no? No. But why not? Ce n'est pas permis. Ma famille. For me? Family? That crazy ring. Look, you're not married. Married? Mariage? <laughs> no, Michel. Oh, baby, I like that. No, Michel, a lot better than the others. Maman, papa, grand-père. Ce n'est pas permis. Okay, baby. Comprends. But when will I see you again? I can't let you go now. Once you put that mask on, I'll never find you again. Michel, je suis très en retard. No, but how do the fly boys say? Rendez-vous. When do we rendez-vous? Rendez-vous? Oh, how do I explain this? I come into town only on weekends. Now, next weekend. Now look. Twice around the clock means tomorrow. Tomorrow, ici la plage. No, no. No. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Seven tomorrows. Next week. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Right. Rendez-vous. Right. The time. What time? 10 heures. 10 o'clock. Okay, baby. You got yourself a date. Mary, the world grows small. In war time, even smaller. The customs of one corrupt the customs of another. And so, as you say, on the street she wears the bed sheet, on the beach she wears a fig leaf. But take my advice. Don't be a sucker, monsieur. <laughs> sucker? Mais oui. Don't be fooled by the fig leaf or by your defiance of grandpapa. With this girl, there is not a chance, monsieur. Not a chance. Very old Arab family here. Very proud. I know this one. If it is pleasure you want, monsieur, that I can arrange for you. Next time you come into town, I... Uh... No thanks, pal. I've got a date. With a mirage and a fig leaf. At 10 o'clock next Saturday morning. Hey, hold it. Crazy ring. How do you say sucker in French? Leila! Ne touche pas! I'm sorry, pal. Oui, monsieur, I have just... <coughs> Pally, I need your help. Oh, how nice, monsieur. And what type do you prefer? No, no, I want that girl, Layla. Are you out of your mind? She is not of that sort, I told you. Just tell me where she lives, that's all. I could not do that. It's a very old family, regular customers, my job. How much? Well, you could never find a way alone. Just tell the taxi driver where to take me. Come on, give a sucker an even break. Yeah. Come on.
I am looking for Layla. Are you Layla's mother? No, please, it's important. I have to talk to her. Layla, is he? Layla, where is she? Tell Layla, rendezvous, important. Va-t'en. No, no, you don't understand. The troops are leaving, very soon. Va-t'en. Aussi, Michel. Je t'aime. Je t'adore. I love you. You do. You do love me. Maybe someday we'll do that. Together we'll go everywhere. Italy. Italy. Oui, Michel. La France. Spain. Espagne. America. L'Amérique. Toi? Japan. Le Japon. I'd like to see that too. Then, then we'll come back here and build a house, a crazy big house, just for us to live in, you and me. Michel. We're going to be married. Now look. The troops will be moving out any time, any day. I want to marry right now. Comprends? Je comprends. Je comprends, mais c'est impossible. Why not? Why not? It's impossible, Michel. No. We have to talk about it. Now come. Now what? I need your help. Please tell her we're going to be married right away. Dites-lui que c'est impossible, Michel. Ce n'est pas possible. This is quite impossible, as she says. We'll make it work, baby. Tell her I'll do anything to make it work. Please put some more feeling into it. Pretend you're selling a tie or something. No, Michel, tu es américain. Moi, je suis arabe. I'll take out Arab citizenship. 
L'Américain dit que... Oui, je comprends. Mais les Américains ne m'accepteront jamais. Et ma famille ne t'accepterait jamais non plus. She's quite right, you know. Your people will never accept it, not hers. But we're not marrying people, we're marrying each other. Mais je suis musulmane. Moslem, Moslem, Michel. My father was a Buddhist, my mother a Seventh-day Adventist. Does she love me? That's all, that's all that matters. Monsieur, you're breaking the glass. The young lady loves you very dearly. She wants you to understand that, but it can never be. That's why she did not come to see you last weekend. And this is what she came to tell you today. Voila!
How many times a day do I have to save your life? Okay, Charlie? Okay, Dad! Four landing checklist. Propellers. RPF 2300. Landing gear. Up. Hydraulic pressure. Checked. Throttle friction. Off. Flaps. Flaps 15. Flaps 15. Flaps 30. Flaps 30. Full high RPM. Full high RPM. Flaps 40. Flaps 40. Checklist complete at 200 feet. I'm going to drag at 70 knots and pick my spot. Warn me if I get below. Seventy. Sixty-nine. Sixty-eight. Engineer for pilot, build check. Garrison, check the build. Looks like we popped a couple of rivets, sir. She's leaking. Dennis, Dennis, send up a green flare. Let Takashima and his buddy know we've landed. Okay, Dad. Let's celebrate Chinese New Year. There it is. Uncle Science Water Tank. You call, we hold, you all. Okay, Dad. Hang on. Time's our problem now. Time and fuel. You better get back and help them load. Take over. No, I'll get us in the air, then you can take over. I'm sure I can handle it, I'll sir. I'll take it off. Engineer from pilot, we in shape to take off? Near as we'll ever be, sir. What's the damage? A little more than I realized when we landed, sir. Plates torn out of the left elevator. Fabric ripped on one of the ailerons. Beacon number three is holding its own. Shall I secure the hatches? Pilot from engineer. Colonel, shall I secure the hatches? Garrison. Send Takashima to the flight deck. Takashima, flight deck. Charlie, you stay here. My arm wrenched it on the yoke. Oh. You have a broken arm, Colonel. Swell. You'll be okay. Those people back there think they're safe. I hope they're right. We need a splint. 
to it later. Thanks a lot. Lieutenant, you'll have to get us in the air and take us back. Yes, sir. You'll need jet assist. Well, Stevenson broke his arm. Garrison. Yes, sir. Attach the Jado bottles. Yes, sir. Jado. Takeoff checklist complete. All the flaps. Flaps 15. Flaps 15. Guard throttle on orders. Arm to Jado. Jado arm. Circuit complete, ready for firing. Guard the throttles. Seven lousy seconds of jet power. A few more if he's lucky. If we're not out of the water by then, we'll never be. Max power! Fire the Jado! Pretty good flying, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir, but I wouldn't want to take any credit I don't deserve. But, uh, well, maybe the pilot's report could include high commendation for Lieutenant John Gregg. And strong recommendation for advancement. Save 12 lives. I'm glad. Mike. 
Randy, do me a favor. Stow my gear away. Sure. Could use a cup of coffee now. I just put the kettle on. Yeah. I'll be right back, baby. Hey, Charlie. The medic's got to examine you. Make sure you didn't swallow any fish. Tell him I'll come to see him. You got a medal to pin on him. He saved my life. Okay, Charlie, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll ride along with you. Did the medic say you're okay? You and me are going on the town and have the biggest mess of sukiyaki you ever did see. Okay, Charlie? Okay, Jian? Here we go. It happened in the North China Sea. The story of one rescue flight and three men, each in his own way seeking the answer to personal tragedy and loneliness through helping others. At bases all over the world tonight, alert crews of the Air Rescue Service wait for the scramble bell, ready to give their own lives if necessary, that others may live. <laughs>